Hello, greetings to everyone. So my name is Nur Atika Binti Sawal. I am from Section 2, Group 1. I am going to demonstrate on Lesson 5, which is Join. Alright, so the first step to do the Join is first duplicate the job design that you have done earlier. And then you name it. So in my case, I I name it as inner join. So the next step is to import uh, to create a new metadata, which is file delimited. delimited. So right click and then create file delimited. So right here, I name as local state. You fill in the purpose. Press on next and then uh, change the format to Windows. Okay, right here you can browse your data. So I choose the state txt file here. Click open and then the file viewer will show the content of the file. Press on next and then um, according to the file. Just now you can see here the uh, column separated is using comma so I change to comma here refresh the preview and then you can see we have column 0 and also column 1 so press on next and then for the schema you can change name I choose to name is as the code for the column 0, name is as good. Stay good. And for column 1, state name. For the line, change to 20. And you go to go, click on finish. Okay, right here, on the left side, you can see that local state file delimited is already created. So, the next step is to drag the file here on the top of the T-map in our job design and then choose the T file input delimited here and click OK. Next step is to right click on the local state schema and then click on main and connect it with Tmap. So you can see uh, for the customer file it shows main and for the local state it shows lookup. Alright, the next step is to configure our T-Map here. Double click on T-Map. And then we can see here we have two rows on the left side. So the next step is to link the element to compare. So I choose the state here and then drag onto the row 2. And you can see the purple line here is connecting uh, to go oh. next on the right side click on here and create new column which name is state name so change the line to 20 and then what you want to do is drag it to here and you get the roto.state name click apply and then click ok and then choose yes so to see the changes you can run the job here after running the job here you need to check first and okay so right here you can see that the state name is showing uh the state name for each row but for the row three right here we couldn't see the state name so there's a few a missing value here so what to do next is to set up a capturing reject click on the t right here and then right here we can see the red tool click on it and then change the join model to inner join the next step is on the right side we click 
on the plus button here to add output table and name it as join failure okay click on the tool here and change to catch lookup in your join reject to set to true for the join failure the next step is to set the whole value which is the last name and then drag on the stick click ok to apply and then click somewhere and search the log row ok and then add the tmap right click and then choose join failure and link it to the t log row after finish you can run you can see that all the unprocessed row is not in capital letter for the state code so to fix this you need to change the value here in the tmap and then for this one Click on the eclipse and then row one dot state here add on dot to uppercase string. Click OK and then we apply and try to run the job. So it is successfully run. What to do next is to delete the unwanted table here. Okay, okay. and then remove this component and we can check the output. Here you are successfully compare the code and then you will receive the state name in each row that's all moving on to the next lesson ok assalamualaikum nama saya Amir Syakuan bin Muhammad Yusof saya akan terangkan tentang lesson keempat iaitu filtering ok untuk yang pertama kita kena duplicate dulu sebab kita tak nak kacau uh, lesson yang lepas dan seterusnya kita boleh buat uh, filtering dengan klik dekat tmap dan letak expression dekat cap out ataupun dekat dia punya output untuk kali ini kita buat uh, filtering untuk state California aja. dan boleh klik apply dan ok bila run boleh tengok output yang close 9 saja sebab sebab filter ni filter expression ni tak include uh, the low case instances untuk state untuk fix benda ni uh, kita masuk balik dekat tmap dan kita perbetulkan balik expression kita dengan yang dah set untuk uppercase and then boleh apply dan run dan kalau kita tengok output dia akan keluar ke semua uh, customer yang berada di state California ok untuk filtering multiple data pula kita boleh uh, duplicate uh, file output yang sama kita boleh ubah 
output file yang keluar nama output file yang keluar dan nama label contohnya yang kedua saya akan filter untuk New York NY dan Alaska itu AK dan connect T-Map dengan kedua-dua output Dan kita boleh setting dia punya connection dengan T-Map Kalau boleh kita, kita boleh tengok yang semua expression kosong So kita boleh klik auto map untuk uh, mapping Dan Kita boleh tengok yang column name expression dia kosong So untuk perbetulkan tu kita copy expression yang Uh, output yang pertama dan kita perbetulkan untuk uh, string handling juga untuk state so kita boleh copy juga uh, expression daripada output yang pertama ok kemudian kita boleh copy juga uh, expression untuk filter dan tukar CA kepada nama-nama filter yang kita nak seperti itu kita boleh apply dan run the job kalau kita tengok output ada tiga output yang lain iaitu untuk New York kita boleh tengok yang uh, data tersebut telah difilter untuk uh, state New York sahaja untuk Alaska juga kita boleh tengok semua data untuk untuk state Alaska dan California yang kita tengok tadi tu ok, itu sahaja daripada saya sekian terima kasih my name is Syamil Aiman we proceed with context variable ok, what is context variable? context variable, a variable which can be set either at compile time or run time It can be changed and, al and allows variables which will otherwise be hardcore to be more dynamic. Context variable is a job is always run in a specific context. Context variables are variables you can use within your job. Take on a value depending on the context in which the job is being run. And the goal is to specify the value to use by changing the context in which you run your job okay with we, we we will proceed with our lesson okay first you need to duplicate the uppercase like we used it on uh, on in the class before uh, to context uppercase 0.1 next uh, we open it and there's i've opened it then we must go to context and add the context and name it as output ir okay first by by default you must set the value the value you can get from here the basic you can get from here where you want uh, you where you wanna where you wanna save your file then you must config you can go to configure text and add new context and set it to in my case production okay and then click ok and then you must go to file output delimited and set the file name to context output DRR because in this context we have changed to we have named it as output DRR 
and then we must change at component also next we must try to run the job first we run the job as a default and see what's happening okay there's the job done uh, and there's the output default out open it Okay, this is the output same as uh from the one we duplicate okay next uh we try to run it as production and we can see the output file here production and this is the output it is the same as uh the one here is is using repository context variables okay first you must go to the context and right click on it and create create context group in my case as a, i have uh, create and this is my context context group i name it as location context variable say variable in the context and the description is the i basic training and then click next and then we just do it like uh, before we add the context variable and name it as repo output dir and then we set it we set it as default where we want to save our file our output and then we configure context and new and set it as production click ok and then click finish and then click yes and ok ok after that we can see that uh, here it, this is our location context variables and then we need to drag it into the designer in my case I have drag it, drag it into the designer and it will show uh, like this in the context and then after that we must we must set it as production and then go to the component we must change, change it like like the one uh, we type it in the context as repo output dir then we go to run the job and try to run as default first and see what happened okay this is uh this is uh, the one i do it just now this is to the one that I do it just now and this is the new one the context group default to out here then we try to run it as production and see what's happened okay okay this is the new production as I do it in my context here you can see it uh, new production production new production production out okay that's all from tips ni hari assalamualaikum okay so ni kali ni saya nak uh, nak explain tentang part uh, lesson 7 untuk talent uh, which, uh, which is pasal uh, schema so untuk, untuk lesson ni ada empat step yang perlu kena ikut so ada uh, define a generic schema untuk sales data file generic three sales data file define metadata for customer file define metadata for product file ok kenapa kita nak buat benda ni skema ni adalah nak kita prepare untuk uh, next lesson which is uh, working on with the database so untuk yang ni kita ok yang ni ada dia punya gambar dia so apa yang kita nak buat kita nak buat define generic uh, schema for data uh, data files ok lepas tu dari situ kita nak generate tiga sales uh, tiga sales data files ni uh, sales data file untuk satu satu tiga lepas tu define metadata customer dan product data 
Okay, so uh, okay, yang ni uh, sudah sudah mula. Ada buat apa? So ni cakap tujuh satu. So first of all, uh, kita go to the first, which is define generic schema for sales data files. Okay, so yang ni uh, kat dalam repository ni, kita pergi kat dalam gen, uh, generic uh, schema. Kita akan buat create generic schema. Lepas tu kita akan namakan dia shop metadata. Uh, shop meta metadata. Kita tak payah. Saya tak boleh tunjukkan apa. Okay, ni dah ada. Okay, ni dia. Shop metadata satu. Saya so, buka nama shop metadata. Purpose sales data. Sales data for database. Dan kemudian namakan dia shop metadata. Kemudian kat sini saya akan tambah description schema. Mungkin saya tambah apa yang berapa kolom yang kita nak saya mahu. So, untuk ini kita ada nak empat kolom. First of all, shop, uh, shop name, customer ID, product ID dan quantity. Untuk shop name, kita akan letak ni S3. Lepas tu customer ID, product ID dan yang quantity, kita letak S3 je. Lepas tu finish. Uh, cancel. Okay, so kat sini nanti dia akan ada tunjuk shop metadata yang setiap tuan tadi dan column dia yang kita dah buat. Okay, so yang macam itu untuk uh, first part atau first step. Okay, so untuk second step adalah kita nak kita nak uh, generate uh, kita nak generate three sales data one for each shop Okay So, untuk tu kita uh, first of all buat uh, job dekat uh, ni saya ada buat satu uh, folder baru dekat dalam demo which is uh, sales uh, file spread So, kat sini uh, saya panggil T row generator Okay, kat sini uh, saya letakkan oh, Okay, ni dia punya ni uh, T row generator Saya tukarkan skema dia menjadi repo, uh, repository kemudian saya uh, uh, pergi ke oh. kemudian saya, uh, saya pergi uh, ke bahagian uh, sebelah edit schema ni saya ambil ke dalam metadata saya ambil generic schema shop metadata shop metadata ni lah yang tadi yang kita ada buat which is uh, column tadi yang empat column kita buat lepas tu double click dekat top uh, row generator so ni kita dah ada shop name, custom ID, product ID dan quantity lepas tu kat, uh, kat dalam ni saya uh, tukarkan uh, function untuk ni dulu customer ID, product ID dan quantity ni sebab kita, uh, uh, saya tukarkan dia pada letakkan dia uh, CS dan beri random so uh, kita, dia akan create a uh, random number lepas tu uh, berapa value dia kat sini adalah value 1 ke 100 so basically untuk customer ID dia akan create any random number from 1 to 100 untuk, uh, uh, untuk berapa, berapa row kita nak sama untuk product ID yang saya letak 1 ke 80 dan quantity 1 ke 1000 kemudian uh, shop ni kat sini value dia saya terus saya letak shop dia ialah 1 so kat sini environment dia dah ada shop 1 lepas tu number of row yang saya nak dia generate is, is 5000 so ini dia nilai dia ok so kemudian uh, saya tarik uh, saya uh, ambil T uh, apa ni T5 output delimit which is yang ni saya dah tukarkan nama dia pada shop 1 half ok so kat sini saya uh, setkan dia untuk keluar dekat dalam sales files dengan nama dia shop1.out kemudian kat sini saya uh, tak tukar nama dia lah saja uh, itu saja uh, itu saja kemudian kat sini kalau pasal saya letak uh, tukar uh, saya ada tukar nama shop1 so senang saya tahu uh, ini uh, untuk uh, apa nama dia ini untuk uh, uh, shop yang mana satu so ini saya hanya, uh, saya hanya klik dekat table warna biru je ni dan tukar lagi pada shop1 Okey dah habis tu saya kau hanya apa yang perlu buat ialah tinggal uh, dalam uh, table biru ni uh, copy dan paste sajalah untuk hasilkan balik a uh, uh, shop yang ni yang untuk shop yang kedua dan ketiga sebab benda ni sama saja so hanya uh, buat dia copy dan paste saja lepas tu apa yang perlu tukar ialah first of all nama pada shop dua uh, kemudian dalam T row generator a uh, double click dekat sini kita tukar dia punya nama shop ni sini which is the value dia pada shop dua Okey, saya tadi lupa nak bantu tapi value kat sini apa yang dia dah uh, macam tadi yang kalau customer ID, product ID quantity dia akan hasilkan value value based on uh, the uh, parameter berapa banyak kita letak sama juga untuk shop ni so, nanti bila output dia dia akan keluar untuk column shop ni value dia semua shop 2 ok tu tadi lupa maaf ya ok so lepas tu uh, view hanya tukar saya tukar uh, ya. itu sajalah untuk dalam konten uh, ni konten ni, ni. Lepas tu, eh, lepas tu kat output ni, saya hanya perlu tukarkan so, uh, daripada shop tadi, shop 1 kepada shop 2 Lepas tu view dia adalah shop dari, uh, kepada shop 2 output, so senang tahu So, dan benda sama juga untuk yang ketiga So, dengan dah habis tu, kita siap dah untuk uh, part, uh, step kedua kita which is generate 3 sales data files So, lepas tu bila dah buat tu, saya hanya uh, nak run saja untuk tak dapat output dia Ini bila saya dah run uh, 
ya jap ya okey ni dalam saya, saya tak dalam uh, folder sales files ini dia punya output dia so untuk dia bila uh, kita boleh tengok apa yang dia dia shop y ini adalah dia punya customer id product id dan last sekali quantity so dia dah dia dah create a uh, value uh, ni nilai untuk kita so nanti kita boleh guna dekat dalam database okey so kemudian di, uh, uh, apa yang seterusnya dia nak ialah define metadata for customer file so untuk uh, customer file ni uh, untuk nak define dia first of all uh, kat dalam metadata kita pergi kat file limit kita create file limit so ini nanti dia akan uh, kita akan uh, ni boleh isi saja yang ni saya cuba tengok boleh, uh, boleh bawa keluar ke tak ok ni dia nah, nah, nah. ok so ni saya dah letak nama dia aku pilih customer customer dia customer lepas next kat sini saya pilih uh, saya browse saya pilih file yang ada kat dalam uh, dal uh, dalam ni which is uh, uh, file with customer dah format saya tukar kepada windows so next bila kat situ nanti ada ada akan keluarkan output uh, dia punya preview kat sini lepas tu kat sini saya ada letak uh, he uh, header uh, yang ni tak, uh, tak perasan so saya uh, sebenarnya kat dalam file uh, customer ni first file uh, row dia dia ada uh, dia kita tak nak diri bila dia sebab bila dia tak, uh, tak perlu this file rows ni so untuk kalau nak nak buang uh, lima row tu apa yang perlu buat ialah kat dalam rows tu skip kita click header dan masukkan dia je lima lepas tu kita set heading row as column yang ni kat sini bila kita dah row uh, skip dia akan automatik skip 5 file ni dan uh, row yang ke-6 ni jadi row pertama lepas tu kita nak uh, jadikan row pertama uh, yang row pertama ni ialah uh, dia punya column, yang pertama column so kita setkan dia kita uh, tukar uh, kita set heading row as column ni lepas tu kita, uh, kita export ok lepas tu dah habis lah kat situ ok so lepas tu uh, benda sama yang perlu dilakukan dekat dalam uh, sekejap uh, ok so nanti kat sini dia punya bila dah kita export tadi ini dia punya hasil dia so tadi bila dah habis hasil uh, kita letak nama lepas tu kat dalam description kita setkan id dia sebagai key kemudian tadi uh, bila dah habis uh, bila dah export tu jangan terus tekan finish better check dulu lah dekat dalam description ni kadang ada error juga macam tadi ada kat customer address ni dia punya length dia kecil 25 saja so tambah 35 kemudian dia punya sum ni pun set satu dia nilai length dia lain lain sudah tukar based on uh, apa yang uh, channel kita uh, dia, uh, dia nak sini ok lepas tu dah habis kat situ so uh, kira siap dah lah untuk uh, kita punya uh, uh, yang part 3 define metadata so lepas tu bila define metadata, metadata untuk product file pula benda sama saja untuk uh, yang kita buat untuk customer file kalau cuma apa yang, uh, yang lainnya sebab uh, macam tadi kat dalam kita punya uh, customer kita ada skip uh, header tapi untuk ini kita tak perlu skip header dan kita tak ada set heading uh, sebab dalam dia pun dalam uh, produk punya ni hanya ada dua uh, saja which is uh, ID dia dengan produk ni dan dia tak ada uh, row yang uh, define dia as uh, nama column so kita tak uh, kita tak perlu set heading row as column ni hanya terus uh, export dia saja export saja dan kemudian hanya tukar daripada, uh, daripada uh, bila dia masuk ni nama dia kolom kosong kolom satu so hanya tukar dari kolom kosong daripada ID uh, kolom satu kepada produk lepas tu setkan type as integer so lepas tu habis siap so itu sajalah untuk lesson tujuh uh, scan timbas so first of all uh, uh, today we will talk about how to connect with database and ELT lesson 8 database so first of all we connect to the uh, our database which is uh, MySQL so to look at all the details we can see it here yes. so we can test connection yeah and then we finish Uh, and then we will click for uh, job which is customer factory table product factory table, shop table setup and it assist for the customer factory table we will uh, create a table and populate it with the customer data uh, from the retail customer you can see it here, retail customer uh, yeah. uh, so this happen when we 
uh, add it to context uh, something like a variable and it will become a uh, you know like a constant and we will use this uh, for all the process uh, in the uh, talent of studio so first I uh, will run this job if no problem uh, we will go to the second job so if we look at here there will be 5000 rows and we look at the our database so this is uh, retail customers uh, there will be 5000 so the query is happen uh, and then uh, this is a uh, second job so we run it So if you look here, it will the retail products. So we can go to our retail products. Uh, there will be 50. Same with this. Then uh, for our third job, we will be populate the shop in the shop table setup. So if you look at here, it will uh, populate the data in a state staging. So 220, 40. So it should be CIA 60 in our our table. So there. And then lastly, this is where all the related things happen, where all the process happen. So first of all, uh, we will um, put the uh, data which is in a table schema uh, how we can get this uh, we can and retrieve the schema so we populate that and it will so for this uh, let's say uh, there are many tables but we will just only one one two three here so we will do that and then uh, the schema will happen uh, pop up right here so we can uh, you know something like this So we can see here, this is one of the example how the, uh, the schema will come out. So we will put this sales data in but as a main, uh, our main table. And then there will be two lookup tables which is customer and also the products. And we can join the, uh, all three tables with uh, team maps. So for this case, uh, we will use uh, in the join and unit match, and we can uh, produce the output uh, using this table, and it will come out of this, and we can drag it, and it will show some uh, some output. And we will we can use the output to add uh, to map the products so for the first one is combined sale you can see it right here combined sale which comb of all this data and rejects and also purchases and lastly the cast sales So for this example, 
there will be new table which is uh, total sales and then for the rejects we will sort the rejects based on uh, shop name, for ID, ID and quantity and lastly the unit row so, so we can use that and then it will output the um, file to this The CSV, we will look at the file name. So, as we do an electrified way, this is empty it to prevent any unnecessary error. And then aggregate to perform any operation. So, for this case, we will use count or we can use sum, whatever necessary. And then it will output the file in this directory with the name. Same happen with this. So if before this we use count uh, and now we use sum and we will put the file at here so for this uh, we will use the file archive uh, file archive will something like uh, zip the file and since we have already archived the file we we can save the space by delete the file that have already been archived so for uh, this example, we archive out.sml and out to the sml and we can archive the file by using file mask. So we can look our product here, which is uh, this is our input. And then this is the archive file before this. This is out of zip. And that's it for uh, let one, let's eight database. Thank you.